Sicily, Amal and uh, Catherine. First of all, I want to I want to be on record that we have not been pursuing a narrative as was indicated by Mwishimua Barire. We are not pursuing a narrative. And for me to prove that, let me give you one thing. I want to explain how the results were done. It was not possible for sure for the seven commissioners to verify and tally to 46,229 uh, police stations. We are talking from inside. So what happens when you cast your vote at the closure of the time of the polling station, at the polling station, there is the, the presiding officer at that polling station will count the votes, they will fill the form, the result form, and that is the form that uh, Masit is talking about. It is actually not the ballot papers. Is the result form, which they had two copies. Once they are counted, and they are entered in the record, and they are signed by the agents, then the presiding officer at that polling station, using the Kim's kit, takes the photo, image of that result form. It is sent to the National Tallying Center, and then the same is sent to the constituency returning officer, right? So those, the correctness of those results is verified at that particular point. After that, according to the information we had from the smart matic who provided the technology, it is that image that was when it came to the National Charing Center, the same image is supposed to have been sent to the public portal. Right? This is an issue which we need to address because what happened? When the image went, you know you cannot change the image. The image was converted from the image, picture image, to PDF. And what you are seeing in the public photo is a PDF. And that was not part of what was the result part. It is the same image that was supposed to appear at the public photo. That is important to note. After that, all the polling stations within a constituency are supposed to deliver the original form which they sent to the constituency tiling center. So that at that particular point, you are able to count the votes cast for the members of parliament and all the other candidates, including the presidential. Form 34B, the first one was the form 34A. Form 34A, was done at the polling station. From that, 4B is done at the constituency. Right? That is supposed to fill all the results. And at that particular point, the returning officer announces the presidential results in that constituency for each candidate. And they fills the form that 4B. Right? It is filled at the constituency. And at that particular point, he will announce who are the winners, the constituency tiling center. So that at that particular point, you are able to count the votes cast for the members of parliament and all the other candidates, including the presidential. From that force B, the first one was from that 4A. From that 4A was done at the polling station. From that 4B is done at the constituency. Right? That 
supposed to fill all the resorts. And at that particular point, the returning officer announces the presidential results in that constituency for each candidate. And they fills the form that a 4B, right? It is filled at the constituency. And at that particular point, he will announce who are the winners. So what we are saying is, and that is what Mainakiai said, the results are returned at the, for the presidential candidate are returned at the constituency. Now, once you fill in from that 4B, you come, you set the, ima the, the, the image, then you come with the original to the National Tallying Centre. And that is why all the 290 constituencies... Wandere, just uh, so that we don't go through the whole process, the specific questions were not on the process, because the process, all these people are political players, they know the process. They don't know because of Omar, we, <laughs> what Omar said The question, I, I'm correct. just paraphrasing the question for you, because yes. I also had a related question. Yes. Because if we take the route you are taking, we may be here up to yeah. tomorrow. Okay. The question was, now the 34B that is used to declare results at the constituency, mm -hmm. the four of you, did you have a single 34B that was different with the results against the results that were declared and on the public portal. Whether it was PDF, whatever it was, photograph, did you have one single form that showed or that you can show different results other than the declared results? That was just a straight question. That, that question cannot be answered that simply. Let me explain why. Because from that 4B, when they come to the, they were coming to the bombers here at the National Talent Center, all the from that 4Bs, after verification on the floor of the bombers, and I saw you there, after verification by the agent, we were given to go and announce the results that has been verified at the floor of bombers. That is what you, sh you saw us announcing, right? After we announced, the results were given to the chairman who went to tally. So the question is this, after we, because they were not tallied before they were announced, they were announced after verification and given to the chairman, and when the chairman went to tally, again, he, did, he did listen. Again, Wanderi, just to quicken the process, you no, didn't have a problem. It's important to understand that the chairman did that one without the commission. That's, that's what I'm trying to help you. The problem you had was mm -hmm. at the point of announcement by the chairman for tallying, isn't it? Not at the point the form comes to bombers, we verify as party agents, it goes to the chairman now, then the chairman has his own system at the corner to tally, that is a corner you have a problem with, isn't yes, it? Yes, because we were not part of Fine. it. Fine. That is a problem. Uh, that's where you have the problem. So our question was, you have a problem with that corner. Since you had forms being verified on the floor, and you announced some of those forms, do you have a single of those forms that you think you announced or was verified on the floor, but then the chairman used a different form or different results to tell you. It was not possible for anybody to know the results, that, the, the number that the chairman tallied. If, he, if I announced 2,000 votes for you as a presidential candidate, and after that, I hand over the form, because we were not supposed to handle those are the results that were selected to the chairman, and he signed here and he received them. If he announced, if he entered, in the tallying, 2,500. 2, How would I know? So, so you never, you never put it. Maybe. That's what is, you and never. And let me, sorry, let me, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just wanted to be clear. Oh, just just so long you hear from Omogeni. It is important. I just wanted to be clear. Eh? Question, yes, I wanted to be we clear. Were not involved in the tallying yes. and verification. And verification. In the entire presidential by, result. Verification was done at the, uh, by the card agents and we were supervising that. Yes. But the tallying, we were not involved, and that is the responsibility of the commissioner. Okay. So the results could have been changed could be after, changed. Verification after verification before 
and, and before the final announcements yes. upon the tally. And that is, a, that is the darkest area we are talking about. That, okay. that with, with, thank, you very, th thank you very much. Yeah. Until the Chair, announcement. A yeah. question to, to that assertion. Yes, yes, easily. You know, Commissioner Wanderi, what you are saying is not a small matter. It is not a small You have a whole nation to deal here. with here. Yes. yes. How come you are not able to prove to the Supreme Court, show any evidence where what the chairman announced and what was verified was invariance? Why didn't you prove that to the highest court of the land? Let, let, let then you come to bring Wanderi, it here. Wanderi, Wanderi, I'll just you had an opportunity, you. Just Commissioner listen, Wanderi. Listen. You had an opportunity. Cecily. No, he, he, you know, he's making some very, very clear, I mean, serious allegations. Commissioner. And the question is, why were you unable to prove that what you're saying right now before the Supreme Court? That was your moment. That was your moment as commissioner. Excuse me. Then you bring it here. Well, we cannot verify what you're saying. Can I, can I, but, uh, Commissioner. Chairman, Chairman. Just, just hold on. Commissioner. Yes. I beg of you. Relax. Just, just relax. That's why I'm asking you to relax. Yes. Yeah. Once you are relaxed, take your time, listen to the question being put to you. Don't start answering a question before it has even been put to you. That way, you will save us a lot of time because you are interjecting. You don't even hear the question you are being asked. You answer a different question. And it clearly looks now like you. there is a narrative, as you are denying, you want to push. So I will plead with you, be patient. We have been very patient with you. Be patient and listen to the questions being put to you. Omogeni asked you a question. Cecily was in the verge of asking you a question. You keep interrupting. Allow her to finish. Cecily, just finish. Go, chair. Sorry. Ch chair, mine is a simple concern. He's come before this committee. They were party to the petition that was before the Supreme Court. Did you prove to the Supreme Court that there was a variance between what was verified in Form 34B and what the chairman tallied? Were you able to prove what you're saying here before the Supreme Court? Chair, yeah, chair, just chair, on, chair uh, yes, you know, Mugani. chair, we have... Uh, we, we have I, I hope it's a question you're asking, yes, not it's answering. A, it, it's a question I'm asking. And Go ahead. It, speaks, it speaks to the question I asked you. You know, we have the decision of the Supreme Court, okay? And uh, if, if you read paragraph 55, uh, yeah, on the issue of tally, this is what the Supreme Court says, that the chairperson on his part did not make matters any better by maintaining a stoic silence even as things appeared to be falling apart. And I asked you a simple question, which I want you to confirm and explain to us, that did you participate in the tally? You said no. I have said just hold on. Just, just, hold, just note that question. That's the only explanation I, I wanted from you. After that, I'm, I, I'll be at peace. So you'll answer that. Yes. My other question was, so that you answer them together, in relation to what you had been asked earlier, you, you aver that you never participated in the tallying. The forms have been verified on the floor under your supervision and other commissioners and IBC staff by party agents. They are satisfied. You go announce, and where they are dissatisfied, there was an appellate mechanism where you go and question. When all those forms were verified and you announced, then they go to the corner where they are being now tallied. The straight question we asked was one, do you have a single incident where a form was verified on the floor, confirmed by party agents to be the results as announced at the polling stations because the party agents were confirming against their agents' results? They confirm. It, you announce, for instance, or Commissioner Ishongo announces, the form goes to Chairman Chebukati for tallying, and from the final tally, or as the tally because the tally is over there on the portal, you could identify that the forms uploaded on the, for, on the portal 
being used for tallying are different from the form that was used to announce the results. Number two, and lastly, uh, Commissioner Anderi. It's not only the commission that was tallying. There were other institutions, including members of the fourth estate who were tallying, yes. and Kenyans all over, and other people, including election observers. Are you here today telling us that the country can only believe the Cherera Four commissioners, not everybody else who was in Bomas, not the election observers?